Hello everyone, we are here at the IIT University Bangalore to discuss about our project NIRBS non Non-Event Blood Glucose Measurement. Diabetes is one of the most common diseases all over the world. It is a chronic disease that occurs when the pancreas is no longer able to make insulin. According to International Diabetes Federation, around 387 million people are living with diabetes and statistics shows that it is expected to increase nearly 200 million by 2035. Generally, one twelve of people suffering with diabetes, knowingly or unknowingly, 50% of them do not know about it. We know that diabetes cannot be cured 100%, but we can control it. The regular monitoring of blood glucose is important to avoid complication of diabetes. Stage of diabetes or a pregnant woman needs more number of glucose reading per day. Nowadays, small children also have diabetes. For glucose reading, they have to face the pain of needle. Nobody wants the pain of needle. Is it? Some device available in the market which takes a less amount of blood sample, but pain is there. Yes, there is a need to develop a non-invasive monitoring system which can measure blood glucose continuously without much problem. Various optical non-invasive techniques have been explored for development of glucose measurement system. Optical methods are one of the painless and promising methods that can be used for non-invasive blood glucose measurement. When there is a pain, there is a research. Our project is first step to remove the pain of millions of diabetics. Now we will see the actual principle of blood glucose measurement. According to light transport theory, I, I equal to I0 into E raised to minus mu effective into L, where I is the reflected light intensity, I0 is the incident light intensity, mu effective is the effective attenuation coefficient and L is the optical part time. Effective attenuation coefficient depends on absorption coefficient as well as scattering coefficient of the cell. Mu A is the absorption coefficient whereas mu S is the scattering coefficient of the cell. From the equation we can conclude that when the absorption coefficient mu A increases that decreases the reflected light intensity and when the scattering coefficient increases that increases the reflected light intensity. This principle is used in the measurement of blood glucose. Consider two tissues, one with low glucose level and one with higher glucose level. Basically there are three layers of skin. Epidermis, dermis, subtequious tissue. In dermis, capillaries are present and optical rays reach up to capillary. In dermis, thin papillaries are present from which we can analyze glucose concentration in a blood. Now we will look towards the block level construction of the system. The block diagram consists of a constant current source which provides a constant current to the transmitter. The transmitter used is nothing but a near infrared LED which provides a const provide a constant intensity signals. A transmitter is provided with a constant current. As we have seen earlier, when the rays are passed through the body from the glucose cell, the rays are reflected back. The reflected rays are received at the receiver. The intensity of the received signal is very less. So the microcontroller should understand the signal or the signal to make compatible to the microcontroller a signal conditioning circuit that is the amplifier is used. The microcontroller is the main processing unit of the system. A display unit is used to provide the final. Now we will look towards each block of the block diagram. Firstly, we will look towards the emitter circuit. The emitter part consists of a NIR transmitter that is the near infrared transmitter. So we have used the Everlight's near infrared LED IR333A which is having a peak wavelength of 940 nanometer. The other component of emitter circuit is a constant current source. To provide the constant intensity light by the LED, it is provided with a constant current of 20 mA. A Texas Instruments LP2951 8-pin DIP IC is used to provide a constant. The second part of a circuit is the detector. The detector consists of a receiver and an amplifier. Everlight's high sensitive phototransistor pt 3 c is used as a receiver. The main characteristics of the phototransistor used is it is having a peak wavelength of 940 nanometer. 
the intensity of the receive signal at the receiver is very low so to amplify the signal we have used texas instruments ina122 instrumentation amplifier it is a single supply micro power instrumentation amplifier it is having an adjustable voltage gain The second part of a circuit is a detector. The detector consists of a receiver and an amplifier. Everlight high sensitive phototransistor PT333 3C is used as a receiver. The main characteristics of the phototransistor used is it is having a peak wavelength of 940 nanometer. The intensity of the received signal at the receiver is very low. So to amplify the signal, we have used Texas instruments INA122 instrumentation amplifier it is a single supply micro power instrumentation amplifier it is having adjustable the algorithm for the system can be divided into three parts initialization measurement and calculation in the initialization phase, we need to initialize the analog to digital converter of the system. During the measurement, we need to put our thumb over the sensor and need to press the switch. When the pre switch is pressed, the signals were transmitted through the LED and reflected signal will be received at the receiver. At, when, at that time, we need to read the voltage at the receiver and apply it to the ADC channel of the micro. And, ADC will convert the analog received signal to the digital form. Inside the microcontroller, we need to convert the di received digital signal into again to analog form. With a back converted analog signals are given as input to the Glucose test. To know your glucose reading, keep thumb properly and press a switch on launch pad. It shows your glucose level. Nowadays, everyone is using Android phones. So, to make our device more user friendly, we send glucose reading to Android application. This is Android application. Welcome, check your glucose level. As soon, as soon as we check the glucose reading in our device, the same reading came on Android application. Your glucose reading is 78. Your glucose level is normal. After developing the final system, we are lined up with these results. The blue lines indicate that the glucose reading measured with the help of our developed system and the orange line indicates the glucose readings measured with the help of glucometer which is available in the market. A good, we can observe that a good correlation is there in the glucose reading by the system and the readings by the glucometer. In some cases, the readings are very close. 20 to 30 percent accuracy 